Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanal is a Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Chad Fury, whichever you prefer. And we're back! At least for now, my... I should be fine. So we should be continuing as normal. So we have two matches today. Lord Stronghold... Or three matches. Sorry. First one's Lord Stronghold, who is currently playing vehicles and on Gekka Wild, against Jasper, who is playing Antbots. Also on Gekka Wild, because it is very difficult to play a 1v1 match where the two of you are on separate maps. Though, now that I say it, that sounds like a kind of a cool idea. It'd be asymmetric as hell, but it would be pretty cool. I don't think that's technically possible, though. I think you'd have to just make a map that's literally just the two maps stitched together, and at that point, it kind of loses some of its charm. Anyway, so, <laughs> slightly off-the-wall development issue ideas aside, Jasper going for light vehicles and going pretty fast in the expansion up front. On the other hand, sorry, low stronghold. I'm, gah. Jasper is going for ducks. Lord Stronghold's going for fast expansion. Let's get that right. Jasper going down south. Looks like they're just trying to see if Lord Stronghold's expanded over to what is more or less the natural expansion. But no, Lord Stronghold thought of that. Decided to expand further in the northwest direction, which is not usually where people expand. As as clear from where Jasper is harassing, this is this area here to the southeast or northwest. That's usually where people expand to. So I expect Jasper will probably expand there themselves. They have a conch up. And no, they are in fact thinking the same thing. Go over to the, this center section. But at the same time, Lord Stronghold's already a bit ahead of them. The Scallop should have no problem getting rid of the Scorchers and protecting this area. But at the same time, what is going to happen with this duck? Or these two ducks? Which I should point out, this is the new version of the game. Ducks firing an arc now. They're less likely to kill themselves. Let's see how that works. Do the ducks kill themselves or not? And no, not... Especially, actually doing a pretty good job keeping themselves in a good position. So, yeah. Good job, you, ducks. You're not dying as quickly as you normally would. Actually, wow, that's actually really good. Holy crap, how, how high is that? Well, that's a pretty high arc. Okay. That, that is a much more impactful change than I'd expected. Ducks are useful now. Ducks are actually good. We can use ducks. The ant butt isn't just archers and grizzlies all day! Huzzah! Should probably sound of the camera. But yeah, the... The ducks... I, it's actually kind of scary. I mean, I mean, ducks are still pretty frail, don't be wrong. You can still count them, the 340... They're still basically raiders, you can just rip them apart with scallops or rip them apart with any right units, really. But now you actually have to think about them. Holy crap! That is a neat change. Here was, I mean, if, look at the stream title for those of you actually watching on Twitch. I was just thinking of the funnel web change, because to me, the funnel web change is a reason I'm going to actually use funnel web once I start playing more regularly again. Like, that, that was the change I saw. Like, yeah, funnel web change, great. But no, ducks are good. Who'd have thought that was possible? And unfortunately for the scallop, it is not in a good position, but actually, it seems to be fine in terms of health. Actually, you know, this is really good. This is really good for the scallop. He's going to be able to rip apart all these fencers and have no problems whatsoever. So, yeah. Good on you, scallop. You use the hill to your advantage. The fencers... Really, they kept him poking over the hill, though. Like, the fencers have been right on the edge of the hill. I think they'd have been able... No! Or if they can, they can't stop there. So, yeah, that works. Oh, don't worry, Aflamo. You will see the ducks again. Ducks are good now. You will see ducks a lot. Like, just put it that way. I mean... I'm... I've, I think... I might actually make a clip of that, to be perfectly honest. I, I never clip stuff off my Twitch stream just because I don't really feel like it or I don't think about it. It's not something I do. I'm not really in on the way you Twitch. I mean, I just... I'm not really much of a Twitcher. I've always been a fairly you know, stable person physically, which is completely unrelated. But I have heard that making clips is a good idea for how to make Twitch work well. So I'm thinking, if I make clips with the duck, then I can show off, hey, is good duck! Danner and get out. Oh, you can't see my face, you can't see how much I was laughing. Okay, no, I'm, I'm not, don't really, don't. Sorry, Danner in chat saying, might one say that the ducks are now mighty? It's like, Danner seriously? I mean, well done, golf clap? No, oh, right. I can't do that on... <sighs> Golf clap. Take my word for it. But... Yeah, that was a bad pun. Anyway, back to the game. I'm getting totally distracted by stream chat. For people watching on YouTube, you're missing out. <laughs> so, back to the game. Lord Stronghold 
and Jasper pretty evenly set up. Lord Stronghold a little bit stronger in economy, and I really like the way Lord Stronghold has set up this front line. They have the back line to themselves. I mean, okay, granted, there's ducks right there that will be a bit of a problem. I mean, at some point, sooner or later, the ducks will basically burst out and explode everything. But at the same time, Lord Stronghold's going to be putting quite a bit of pressure on a Jasper. And Jasper, they have a weaker economy. They don't really have a strong front line. This southwest or northwest expansion is just being built up. Granted, Jasper is taking advantage of the back line. They do have a conch scout combo going to both back line expansion sets. So they're going to be fine. However, this timing is actually going to be quite nice for Lord Stronghold. Coming with a fencer should be able to get rid of the Stardust without issue. And then following that, it's just going to be a matter of taking out the rest of the base. There's nothing stopping this. Nothing that's going to be a good type counter anyway. My like defensers will be able to get rid of the scallops. Defensers will be able to get rid of the stardust without issue. Reinforcements are slowly coming. A lot of scallops being built up. Jasper seems to be in love with the scallop, which I don't blame them. It's a pretty nice unit, but, you know, time and place. However, this is the time and the place. The Scorch is coming in here. Not able to do all that much work just because that scallop is able to fight back. However, it's not enough. One of the Scorches does manage to get past the scallop and does manage to get in and start wrecking up the base. And that is going to be a dead base. Strasburg continuing to... Just be kept behind an economy and Lord Stronghold still has not built up the back line in their base which I really would recommend they do but they haven't done so and they're still ahead economically so or we're ahead economically Jasper's managed to catch up a little bit thanks to the back line expansions but only barely and Lord Stronghold maintains this area is not going to be Jasper's if Lord Stronghold has anything to say about it actually Jasper oh they're reclaiming a lot that's what's going on that makes sense getting making sure to get the rocks which is a good choice that being said, I'm actually a little bit surprised we didn't see Lord Stronghold coming in with, I believe it's just a Scorcher that you need to knock down the rocks. Because these rocks here, you can reclaim them and that will get rid of them, but you can also knock them over with various units. I am not sure I agree with that, or I think the weight of the units needed to knock down the rocks should be a little bit higher than... I can't remember what it was. I want to say Scorcher you can actually knock them down, but I'd have to double check. It's one of those things where I feel like it... Like, you know, if you're into, like, Ravagers or to other units that are, like, 400, 500 metal each, that should be able to knock down the rocks pretty well. Lighter stuff, not so much. Anyway, Grizzly being built up for Jasper to try to help with this, but at this point, Lord Stronghold fighting in here. Jasper's doing a lot with that reclaim. Getting a lot of work done, just making their economy stay on par despite all this harassment, which is going to be able to save them. Assuming they manage to hold off Lord Stronghold's attack, though to be fair, Lord Stronghold's taking out one expansion. They are wiping out another expansion with no real resistance. And while archers are coming on the field along with the Grizzly, that Grizzly might be too a little too late. By the time it's done, the expansion over to the northwest will be gone, or center northwest will be gone. The northwest expansion should be okay. I don't think it's going to be a direct assault. I'm pretty sure from here we're going to see Lord Stronghold pivot around into the main base. Now, how well that works kind of depends on how the defenses are laid out, and I think this defense layout is going to be fine. There's only five units, four Ravagers, one Fencer. The Stardust will be able to make the Ravagers have a hard time. The Fencer is not going to be enough to take care of it in time, and the Ravagers, they're going to be able to get in, get hit by the Stinger, and probably die. So Lord Stronghold is going to have to use these reinforcements, and I'd say use them right now. I'm not even sure why Lord Stronghold is going to the Eastern and Center expansion. Just go north. Use it as a, a flanking maneuver. That's really the only option. You have 10 seconds before Grizzly comes up, and once that's up, it's going to be a little bit harder to get in. Not especially harder. It's still going to be possible. And Lord Stronghold still has quite a strong economy. Though Jasper, again, they're working working overtime with that reclaim. And Lord Stronghold just is not taking advantage of that. Or the fact that this back line is, with the exception of these two ducks, completely secure. And it could be expanded to. Or could have been expanded to. Okay, Kingstad pointing on the chat that Jasper does this all the time. Scallop into Grizzly into Paladin. I, Paladin? Really? I mean, off 37 metal per second, I, I guess, but that's like 11,000 metal. Uh, good luck. I would expect they'd have five or six Grizzlies before they start building the Paladin, though. And I don't expect we're going to get to the late game. It's 1v1. You don't usually get to the point of Striders. Nothing beyond Dante or Scorpion or now Funnel Web, because Funnel Web's the same cost and it has a completely different use. So I can see it being used for late game stuff on larger maps where you want to build the front lines, like Comic Catcher. Although, admittedly, Comic Catcher is a map where you do often get late game stuff. But anyway, Ravagers coming in here should be able to tear apart some of the forces here. The Grizzly coming in to try to force them back, and it's not bad. I mean, it looks like this hill is going to be a bit of a stronghold for Lord Stronghold. While at the same time, again, the Ravagers and Fencers come in to destroy this expansion rebuild attempt. Although, I do respect Jasper for rebuilding that expansion. That is what you do. Like... Don't let that assuage you, the fact that your opponent has forces there. Do rebuild. It's a great way to make sure that you have your economy back up. If you can keep it up for, like, 
25 seconds on this map, you're good. I remember 25, it's not quite three. Keep it up for around well, 30 seconds, I'd say. Jasper, we'll have to deal with the error though. The, oh, the Revenant switch coming in, and that is going to be a Grizzly. That's going to be a sad Grizzly. That's going to be a Grizzly that's going to have a hard time actually getting the job done. I mean, it can hit the Revenant, but not frequently enough to actually deal enough damage to make it worthwhile. So, yeah, that Grizzly forced back. Bit of an awkward position, but it looks like the Revenant should be able to take it out. And that's going to be that. One Grizzly down, another Grizzly is up for Jasper. And Jasper, though, they have rebuilt pretty well. They're still getting a lot of reclaim. They do still have the backyard expansions, which I feel annoyed Lord Stronghold isn't taking. I mean, these ducks are dead now, so get rid of the ducks. Once the ducks are gone, after that point, go in, take the backyard expansions. You're good. But when it comes to... When it comes to the rest of this expansion and stuff, I, I don't see Jasper... I don't see Lord Stronghold actually trying to do that. They're just going mass revenant, trying to go in the back. I mean, maybe... Maybe they have something planned for the back, but it's clear that they're trying to take this front yard expansion here, which I don't totally agree with. Get the reclaim. Yeah, get that caretaker there. I like that. But trying to take the expansion run of your opponent's nose... Well, it looks like that is indeed the plan. This mason right here, going over to the northwest, trying to steal this expansion. I'm not sure Lord Stronghold realizes this backyard expansion exists. Like, they could do both. They could send one mason to the back, one mason to the front. They got plenty of money. Just take both. So yeah, I don't really know. This this could work. Jasper isn't that far ahead economically. And Lord Stronghold does have a reasonably okay hold on this section here, but at the same time, I just I just don't get why the back line is being left untaken. It's just completely unclaimed. Lord Stronghold would be up by 16 metal per second. They'd be 45 to 40 if they grab those backline expansions. I think it's going to be the thing that ultimately gives Jasper the win, because Jasper is getting back in the game. They have pretty much a pure static economy-driven economy. They don't need to worry about the reclaim rocks. They've made good use of the reclaim rocks. That's my point. Like, they're, so much you, so much good has come from that reclaim. Jasper basically able to bring back their base, or from the looks of it, the two black... Two, I don't know the Blackhawks, I don't know why. The two Revenants coming in here. Like, seriously, they were never called that. But yeah, the two black, the two Revenants coming here. Black Dawns was what they were called before. Just was throwing me off. Two Revenants, three Revenants, getting rid of the Grizzly. And again, that's the thing. The Tridents are coming in here. That will be handy. And hey, the Revenants should probably move back. Should definitely move back. Why are you going forward, Revenants? You Okay, well, Suicide Mission got rid of the Geo Plant, so I'll give them that. That's less overdrive. That's less energy. That's overly less stable economy for Jasper. But Lord Stronghold's still ahead. And unfortunately, Jasper did not manage to get rid of the Caretakers and also lost their entire defensive force for this attempted front yard expansion. So I don't understand the logic. The backyard is fine. There's nothing going around the back. I realize Amphbots could theoretically go around the back and harass it, but there's so much metal on the table that Lord Stronghold's left. They could have taken that. They'd have had it for like 10 minutes. Oh, not 10 minutes. For five minutes. Easily. And held on to it, too. That being said, there is some construction being done in the front yard here. His front lines are definitely contested. I just don't understand. Like, Lord Stronghold has this perfect opportunity. The entire reason why you try to, to secure your backyard is to actually take your backyard. And Lord Stronghold would pretty much win right now in economy alone if they did that. But at this point, that's just not happening. Where is Lord Stronghold focused there, the camera, anyway? Okay, looks like they're trying to just set up base. Wait, are they AFK at this point in the game? No, they're still here. I'm trying to set up some of the front line assaults, though. I think Lord Stronghold has just kind of lost patience. I'm not sure, but it does feel like Lord Stronghold just wants to push and win. They figure they have the Black... The Revenants. They have Ravagers, I guess. They don't have a huge army, though. These Tridents are just making short work of everything, and there's no dedicated anti-air coming out of the vehicle factory. The crashes are just now coming up to help get rid of the Tridents, and I like that. Don't go for too many of them. Just the one, maybe two. I like it. That's... That's pretty much correct, because the Tridents are basically just a, just a scouting force at this point. Not to mention, you know, fencers do hit air. They can shoot up. Oh, so can Ravagers. Right, because we are playing a physics-based game, and shooting up is more a question of turret rotation. But, ah, oh, that's bad. That, that's it. Like, the Lord Stronghold is kind of in a bit of a last stand situation. They have a lot of Grizzlies coming in here. The Black Dons can't really come in because of all the Tridents that have been set up. So, at this point, it's just there. Lord Stronghold coming in with 15 metal per second less economy. They're 
getting attacked by a very large scallop army that isn't being fought back before it comes into range. Tridents are making it difficult to come in. However, nice, nice pivot assault here. Basically, Lord Stronghold distracting everything they can out of Jasper's forces. But Jasper, they're confident three Tridents can take care of this entire incoming force. And they might be right, especially with the Harpies being built up on top of that. Oh, the Black Dons can take out that Caretaker. But no, they're not on hold fire, so they can't just easily take out the Caretaker. If that... Just go in, get the Caretaker. That'll do it. If you can get, get rid of that Caretaker set, you'll be done. It'll be over. Or at least it'll make it a lot easier for you to tear apart Lord Stronghold's forces. But no, the Trident's able to come in and wipe out everything. And Lord Stronghold throws in the towel, largely because they just didn't have the money. That is a shame. Like, they had it, too. This It was their game. They had secured the front lines. They had set up a strong army. They made sure Jasper couldn't really expand out and harassed out a lot of Jasper's expansions. They just never took the backyard. They had eight metal extractors, like two and a bit metal each. That's a that's a eighteen metal in total that was left on the table for at least five minutes. And if you look at the metal income, it was a little bit ahead around here, and then just flatlined. I mean, this is around the point where the harassments were going on, but even then, it's still jumping around a bit. And, let's see, where's the reclaim? Yeah, most of the reclaim happens along this line, which is, of course, mine about here. So yeah, from here, if Lord Stronghold had expanded in the back lines, they would have been able to just continue keeping their metal income up and stay in a really strong position, rather than flatlining at about 28 metal per second and then never really doing much. Which is a shame, because they had a great position to work from. Like, it's just, position has to become economy for economy to become an army and for you to win the game. That's what it comes down to. Anyway, that is the first game for tonight. The second game for tonight is going to be... Where the heck is my web browser? Oh, there it is. Second game of the night is going to be a match between Kingstad and Dice68. Dice68 being the person who actually did the rework for the Funnel Web. So I don't expect we're going to see the Funnel Web because it's not a porous game. But it'd be kind of cool. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, stay tuned for that because it could be interesting and it could not be interesting. I don't know. Kingstad's in the chat right now. I If it's not... Wait, okay. Kingstad's telling me to stop on this one. Maybe we won't do it then. Like, there aren't a whole... I kind of wanted to show off the new version. There's only like three games... Or four-ish games in the new version. Okay, I mean, I... You're telling me to stop, Kingstad. I don't really know. I have other... Other options. I mean, they aren't, like, top level, but they're still good. Or at least... Still giant rank. Oh! Dyth actually... Okay, Dyth is... Cool. Alright, so... No, Dyth in the chat, they can say that themselves. Dyth wants to be analyzed? Okay, great. So yeah, we are going to be doing that. I... I'm glad that was cleared by the person doing it. I mean, I don't usually pay too much attention. I mean, I do pay attention, obviously. I do want to make sure I'm not stepping anyone's toes, but I also just want to make sure that the map is good. Anyway, so, we're going to be having Kingstad versus Dyth on map. I have Horus. That'll be up in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> 